Welcome to our ultimate guide on UK road signs. We have discussed about signs giving orders and warning signs in the previous video. If you haven't seen the video, click the link in the description or the video on the i button. Please watch this video first. In this video, we will learn about direction signs, information signs, and road work signs. Let's start with number 3. Direction signs. The image is a directional sign with a blue background, which typically indicates information related to motorways or expressways. This particular sign indicates a junction leading to a motorway. The image is a directional sign with a blue background, which typically provides information related to motorways or expressways. This sign indicates the approach to junction. This sign is a route confirmatory sign, it is typically used to confirm to drivers that they are on the correct route or road after a junction or interchange. This directional sign with a blue background, which typically provides information related to motorways or expressways. This particular sign is a get-in-lane sign. This directional sign with a blue background, typically providing information related to motorways or expressways. This particular sign indicates destination and leaving motorway. This directional sign with a green background, typically providing information related to primary roads and local routes. This particular sign indicates approach to junction or roundabout. This directional sign with a green background, typically providing information related to primary roads and local routes. This particular sign is an at junction sign. This directional sign with a green background, typically providing information related to primary roads and local routes. This particular sign is a route confirmatory sign after junction. This directional sign with a green background, typically providing information related to primary roads and local routes. This particular sign indicates approach to junction. This directional sign with a green background and is bilingual, typically providing information related to primary roads and local routes in multiple languages. Bilingual signs are used to convey information to drivers in more than one language. This directional sign with a green background, typically providing information related to primary roads and local routes. This particular sign indicates ring road and crossroads. This directional sign with a green background, typically providing information related to primary roads and local routes. This particular sign indicates primary route and ring road. This directional sign with a black border, typically providing information related to directions at junctions and intersections. This particular sign indicates approach to junction and crossroads. This directional sign with a black border, typically providing information related to directions at junctions and intersections. This particular sign indicates approach to junction. This directional sign with a black border, typically providing information related to directions at junctions and intersections. This particular sign is an at the junction sign. This directional sign with a black border, typically providing information related to facilities or services at a specific location. This particular sign indicates toilets and disabled access. This directional sign typically providing information related to specific attractions or facilities. This particular sign indicates southern and picnic site. This directional sign typically providing information related to specific attractions or facilities. This particular sign indicates ancient monument in the care of English heritage. This directional sign typically providing information related to specific destinations or facilities. This particular sign indicates direction to a car park. This directional sign typically providing information related to specific tourist attractions or points of interest. This particular sign indicates tourist attraction. This directional sign typically providing information related to specific destinations or facilities. This particular sign indicates direction to camping and caravan site. This directional sign typically providing information related to specific routes or advisory guidance. This particular sign indicates advisory route for lorries. This directional sign typically providing information related to specific routes for different modes of transportation. This particular sign indicates route for pedal cycles. 
This directional sign typically providing information related to specific routes or recommendations for different modes of transportation. This particular sign indicates recommended route for cyclists. This directional sign typically providing information related to specific routes for pedestrians. This particular sign indicates route for pedestrians. This directional sign typically providing information related to specific routes, particularly in the context of an emergency diversion. This particular sign indicates emergency diversion square. This directional sign typically providing information related to specific routes, particularly in the context of an emergency diversion. This particular sign indicates emergency diversion triangle. This directional sign typically providing information related to specific routes, particularly in the context of an emergency diversion. This particular sign indicates emergency diversion diamond. This directional sign typically providing information related to specific routes, particularly in the context of an emergency diversion. This particular sign indicates emergency diversion circle. This directional sign typically providing information related to specific routes, particularly in the context of an emergency diversion. This particular sign indicates diversion route. Now, let's talk about number 4 information signs. This information sign indicates the entrance to a controlled parking zone. Controlled parking zones are areas where parking is regulated and subject to specific rules and restrictions. This information sign indicating the entrance to a congestion zone. Congestion zones are areas in which traffic is regulated to alleviate congestion and improve traffic flow. This information sign indicating the end of a controlled parking zone. Controlled parking zones are areas where parking is regulated and subject to specific rules and restrictions. If you want to learn road signs in the proper way, you can download our theory test app on the App Store, link in the description. Let's get back to the video. This information sign providing advance warning about a restriction ahead. When drivers see this type of sign, it serves as a notice that there is a specific restriction on the road ahead. This information sign indicating a parking place specifically designated for solo motorcycles. It serves as a notice that the marked area is intended for the parking of motorcycles without sidecars or other attached vehicles. This information sign indicating that there is a bus lane ahead with the flow of traffic. It serves as a notice that they are approaching a road segment where with flow bus lane ahead which pedal cycles and taxis may also use. This information sign indicating a lane for high occupancy vehicles, HOV. When drivers see this sign, it serves as a notice that a specific lane is reserved for vehicles carrying multiple occupants. This information sign indicating that certain types of vehicles are permitted to use the high occupancy vehicle, HOV, lane. It serves as a notice that specific categories of vehicles, beyond just those with multiple occupants. This information sign indicates the end of a motorway. When drivers see this sign, it serves as a notice that they are leaving the motorway and entering a different type of road or area. This information sign indicating the start of a motorway. When drivers see this sign, it serves as a notice that they are entering a motorway, a type of high-speed, controlled access road. This information sign indicating appropriate traffic lanes at a junction. When drivers see this sign, it serves as guidance on which lanes they should use to reach their intended destination or direction at the upcoming junction. This information sign indicating that traffic on the carriageway has priority. It serves as a notice that the flow of traffic on the main road or carriageway takes precedence over vehicles entering from side roads or intersections. This information sign indicating the possibility of additional traffic joining from the left. It serves as a warning that there may be side roads or entry points from the left, and additional traffic could be merging onto the main road. This information sign indicating that there is a right-hand slip road ahead where traffic may be joining the main carriageway. It serves as a warning that there is an upcoming entrance or exit ramp on the right side of the road. This information sign depicting motorway exit countdown markers. These markers are typically used on motorways to indicate the distance remaining to an upcoming exit or junction. 
Also you can read more details at below of the sign. This information sign indicating the presence of a motorway service area. When drivers see this sign, it serves as a notification that there is a service area on the motorway ahead. This information sign indicating that traffic has priority over oncoming vehicles. This sign is used to inform drivers that, at the upcoming location or junction, they have the right of way over vehicles approaching from the opposite direction. This information sign indicating the presence of a hospital accident and emergency A and e, department. This sign is designed to provide directional information to road users, guiding them to the location of the hospital's A and E facilities. This information sign indicating the presence of a tourist information point. This sign is typically placed to guide travelers or tourists to a designated location where they can obtain information about local attractions, accommodations, maps etc. This information sign indicating a no-through road. This sign is used to inform drivers that the road they are on does not continue beyond a certain point and does not provide a through route to another area. This information sign indicating a recommended route for cycles. It provides information to cyclists about a preferred or designated route that may be safer, more convenient, or suitable for cycling. This information sign indicating the entry point of a home zone. A home zone, also known as a residential zone or shared space, is an urban design concept that aims to create a safer and more pedestrian-friendly environment within residential areas. This information sign indicating a camera area. This sign is typically used to alert drivers that they are entering an area where traffic enforcement cameras, such as speed cameras or red light cameras, may be in operation. This information sign indicating the presence of a bus lane with a road junction ahead. This sign is used to inform drivers that there is a dedicated lane for buses, and there is also a road junction approaching. Now, let's talk about number 5 road work signs. This road work sign commonly used to alert drivers about ongoing road construction or maintenance activities. The sign is designed to inform motorists well in advance that they are approaching a work zone. This road works sign depicts a loose chippings road work sign. This sign is commonly used to warn motorists about loose gravel or chippings on the road ahead. The road surface may be uneven or slippery due to the presence of loose stones or aggregate. This is a temporary hazard road work sign. This sign is used to alert drivers about a temporary hazard on the road ahead. It serves as a warning to motorists, prompting them to exercise caution and be prepared for changing road conditions. This is a temporary lane closure road work sign. This sign is commonly used in construction zones where a lane closure is in effect temporarily. The sign informs drivers that one or more lanes ahead are closed due to ongoing road work conditions. This road work sign indicating the presence of a back vehicle with a directional arrow. This type of sign is used in construction or work zones where vehicles, such as construction equipment or maintenance vehicles, may be moving backward. This road work sign indicating a mandatory speed limit in the work zone. This type of sign is used to communicate a specific speed limit that drivers must adhere to while traveling through the construction or work area. This road work sign indicating that road works are ahead. This type of sign is used to warn drivers that they are approaching an area where construction or maintenance activities are taking place on or alongside the road. This road work sign indicating the end of road works. This sign is placed to inform drivers that they are leaving the area affected by construction or maintenance activities, and normal road conditions are resuming. This road work sign indicating that a backup vehicle may be encountered 800 yards ahead. This sign is used to warn drivers that there is a possibility of encountering slow-moving or stationary vehicles involved in road maintenance. This sign indicating that a backup vehicle may be encountered 450 yards ahead. This sign is used to alert drivers about the possibility of encountering slow-moving or stationary vehicles involved in road maintenance or construction activities. This road work sign indicating a lane restriction. This sign is used to inform drivers that there is a reduction in the number of lanes available for traffic due to road work or construction activities ahead. This road work sign indicating a lane crossover. 
This sign is used to inform drivers that there is a crossover of lanes ahead due to road work activities. Drivers should be prepared for a shift or change in the direction of travel within the roadway. If you want to learn road signs in the proper way, you can download our theory test app on the App Store, link in the description. Thanks for watching the video.